Advocacy Group is restarting the conversation surrounding teens and guns after gun violence involving juveniles this week. cbs 4s Michael Van Scoik spoke to the group's leader about their focus. A lot of students feel like these things are natural and they're normal to happen. High school students like North Central student Salsa Bill Cadora worry rising teenage violence has almost desensitized an entire generation. I think it's important for those people who are actually in these environments where it seems hard to get out of to want to reach out for the help because the only way we can give help to people is if they want to receive it. In 2023 alone, the Marion County prosecutor filed 418 gun crime cases against juveniles. Riley Hospital for Children also reports treating five juvenile shooting victims in the first two months of 2024 and 54 juvenile shooting victims in 2023. This is why Cadora says her group, Students Demand Action, is focused on creating a conversation among other teens. What we want to do is make sure that these people feel, understand that what's going on is not, it's not okay, it should not be normal, and that they should reach out to us and be able to have these conversations and realize they should not be waking up to gunshots or having their family killed from gun violence. While student-led groups take the issue into their own hands, other groups like Stop the Violence are also busy trying to cast a wider net and build a team of organizations that can problem solve together on a community-wide level. We're doing a good job, but we need to do a better job of coming together with our community to address the problems, to be able to give our teens and young adults uh, additional things that are positive that they can become engaged in. Activists like Pastor Fred Dorsey say it's great to see teens and young adults taking their own initiative. I think that's awesome um, because as we know, you know, that's that peer-to-peer -peer relation and that peer-to-peer -peer relation can sometimes be a lot greater than what we could offer. In Indianapolis, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News. Students Demand Action tells us it's planning a peace walk on April 27th as part of Youth Violence Prevention Week.